Radhe Radhe. Thank you, Spita Ji, for a wonderful session. Um, I would list our co-host take over. Today I'm the co-host with Sandhya Ji and Rahul Ji. And welcome to the session again. And as yesterday we had a wonderful time in the in the end, blissful satsang. So I hope it continues today also and tomorrow also. It's all blessing of Sri Krishna that today we are in the Vashmi mode since yesterday and it, it I hope it goes on. Radhe Radhe Radhe, over to you. Radhe Radhe, thank you, Shamji. Um, Radhe Radhe, a very warm welcome to all of you to our second second of the series of Janmashtami special sessions that we are doing for Bhagavad Gita. It was an out and out blissful time yesterday and um, it's going to continue today. It's only going to get better, uh, that much uh, I'm very sure about. So let's get started with our opening prayers by invoking the blessings of God and Guru and then we will get into the topic. Today we are going to discuss from a knowledge standpoint a very important aspects about the Bhagwan aspect of God. Okay, God is God, but Bhagwan aspect of God uh, is something that we will discuss. Um, it's, it's not properly understood or a well-known fact. So I won't, let's, we'll, we'll have a bit of a discussion around this concept as well. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen and we'll get underway. So let's uh, get started. Check out happened okay just give me a sec some problem with the slides that are supposed to come up Warm welcome good morning good evening again um, everyone I'm just going to start off in a bit. Something is not right, but I will get it squared away fairly quickly. Yeah, it's okay. I just wanted to remind you all that since it is Krishna's birthday on 19th of this month, Janvashmi, it is also, I am also called that with the same birthday, minus Sunday. So please bless me all. Just wanted to remind you all that since you should not forget, it's on my birthday on 21st August. I was born after four to the Krishna. So it's a lucky, it's it's a blessing for me that I share the same same month, Krishna. And as uh, we all had Hargat Ranga, so I hope we have everybody put some camera on at least for the, this, this, this week as we could meet the past participant yesterday. So it continues also. So Radhe Radhe, it's in, over to you. Radhe Radhe, thank you, Shamji. That's quite a coincidence. So I'm sure the whole world will be celebrating your birthday along with. Lord Krishna's birthday. So, great way. Let's get started then with our opening prayers. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwarha, Guru Sakshat Para Brahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha, Vasudeva Sutam Devam. Kamsachanur Mardanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum All right, Radhe Radhe, very warm welcome once again. So let's get started. We have been talking about Krishna Mashtami special sessions. Yesterday we spoke about the secret behind God's birth. And of course, the, the business end of our presentation, we where we had an emotion, very, very amazing time, you know, bhajans and then the poem and some of the renditions. Um, it was pretty amazing, right? I, I would say it was probably one of the best sessions uh, personally I've had uh, throughout the last one and a half year. And I'm eagerly looking forward to its recording as well. So let's get started. A quick recap. So we spoke about these two shlokas today. We'll not do that. We'll directly get into the content. Uh, we spoke about the shloka as, as we know, you know, seeing Mahabharat during our growing up years that, and the commonly accepted understanding that God descends, yada yada hi dharma se bhavati bharata 
Abhyutthanam dharmasya tadatmanam shujamyaham. Wherever there is a decline in righteousness and increase in unrighteousness, that's when the God descends, right? That's the literal meaning of it. And the other aspect of it was paritradaya sadhuna vinashaya chadushkritam dharm sansthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge. So God takes birth ages after ages to protect the righteous, to annihilate the wicked and to reestablish the principles of dharma. So this is the literal meaning as it is communicated in Bhagavad Gita. The deeper meaning is what we looked at because we really looked at it, you know, it's pretty logical. We spoke about established dharma, really. Does God has to do all the drill to really establish dharma? He can do it pretty easily, right? He's called Satya Sankal. He, he decides, he thinks and things happen. So he doesn't have to go through the drill of you know all the stuff that he does, including going to exile and taking on hardships or dancing to the tunes of gopis and all the fun stuff that he does, you know, in his, during his leelas as well. Same thing was for annihilate the wicked. You know, he decides and the wicked will be killed. He doesn't have to fight them for, you know, sometimes even centuries, like it happened in the case of Hiranyaksh. And it, it seems like a fight between equals when God fights. So he gives, you know, satisfaction guaranteed for the strength that you think you have come with. That's what God does. And then the third one was, why does he take an avatar, right? So we spoke about the dharma was basically to reveal his true nature and to establish the basis for bhakti, devotion, or how we can love God. What is his true nature? How can we engage him? How can we um, build a relationship with God. That is the primary purpose for God to descend and reveal his nature. Right? Six things he gives us. Nam, Root, Goda, Leela, Dham and Parikar. So let's move on today. Now the Bhagavan aspect of it is what takes Avatar. So it's important to get into a bit of a philosophy and understand the concept of the different aspects of God. Okay, it's a very important concept that Maharajji has explained us, like Swamiji keeps on explaining us from time to time and not properly understood by most. Okay, so we will talk about that. We will go into uh, Bhakti Shatak to take understanding of this concept. So there are three forms of God. The first aspect of God is called Brahman, which is the light. As you would see, a lot of people, you would know, you know, you're in amongst your friends and relatives also, your friends also, which consider God as Brahman. They say, you cannot objectify God. You cannot, you know, put a personal form to a God. God is infinite. You cannot really say that God has a form and God is light and they worship light. So the Brahman aspect of God is all pervading. In every atom of this universe is permeated by God. Right? So that is the Brahman aspect of it. Let's see how Maharaji defines this aspect. You know, it's directly from scriptures. So he says about this aspect, I'm going to sing it out the way it is done. He says, Sarva Shakti Sampanna Ho Shakti Vikasana Ho Radhe Radhe Sat Chit Anand Roop Jo Brahm Kahave Soya Radhe Radhe. What it means is this form of God in which all the divine powers are present but are totally dormant. The operative or the key or the buzzword is dormant. And which is merely a divine existence is called Satchit Anand Brahma. Sat is active, Chit and Anand are dormant. Okay? And it's Prabhutva or the only thing that it does basically as Brahma is, it's Satta's Raksha. Okay? That is the only thing that manifests and other aspects are dormant. Can a light grace? No. Can a light engage you um, with loving pastimes? No. And can a light um, be objectified? Of course not. Right? So Sat, the eternity aspect is active. Chit and Anand are dormant. Dormant means this; it still has it. But those are hidden, latent in this particular aspect of God. Okay. So in other words, the Yogamaya power that we talk about, if you take the Yogamaya power, not take it out, but make it dormant, 
then it becomes the Brahm, Brahman aspect of God. Okay, that is the Brahman aspect or the light aspect of God. So you will keep on coming across this term Brahman or Brahm. Nirvishesh, Nirakar, Nirguni, Brahm. This is the aspect whenever anybody talks about Brahm. I hope this aspect is clear. People do worship it, which is fine. And that is what Gyanis um, make it as their object of meditation and their goal of God realization as well. Okay. The key thing here to be understood is it is Satchidanand. However, Chit and Anand aspects are latent. They are not manifested in this aspect of God. All right, let's move on. I'm going to explain it with an analogy later on. And then we can take a few questions as well. So this is the Brahman aspect of God. Let's move on to the next one. Now this aspect is called Paramatma. We call God Bhagwan. We call God Paramatma. We call God Brahman. All three are the name of the same God. And what is this Brahman aspect of God? Let's look at it. And this, sorry, Paramatma aspect of God, which yogis make as a goal of their meditation and the goal of their um, realization as well. So let's look at what this Paramatma aspect is. Now this one, it is explained. Sarva Shakti Sai Yukta Ho Nam Roop Gun Ho Radhe Radhe Leela Parikar Rahit Ho Parmatma Hai So Radhe Radhe It means Almighty God, who has all beautiful divine personal form, who has every divine power and has uncountable names, forms, virtues, but does not perform divine leaders. Okay, now something has increased, but still something is hidden. Okay, so it is kind of an intermediate um, aspect of God where he, he started revealing a little more things, but still not quite his full glory. Okay. No intimate divine associates is called Paramatma. So Paramatma aspect, if you look at it, right, it is uh, in the four-armed form of Vishnu as well. He, Vishnu doesn't perform pastimes, right? In, in fact, in Maharas as well, Krishna, he, he came uh, in, manifested in front of gopis in his four-armed form, right? The Narayan form. The gopis' head is what kind of a joke it is. They sent Radha in front of him and his two of his arms vanished, evaporated because he cannot continue to be in Ashwarya form in front of Radha. So two arms automatically went off. It's just like when you come in front of somebody whom you love dearly, you cannot take on your official form in front of them. You become very pally with them, very friendly with them, very cozy with them. Right? So it automatically happened. Vishnu, he became from Narayan, he came back to his loving form again. So this is the Paramatma aspect of God. Now Paramatma, what pra Paramatma does is, like the name suggests, Param Atma. That means Atma of our Atma. And what does it do? It simply sits and logs. You know, the big data that is running of all of our past karmas, this is, Paramatma is responsible for that. Okay, nothing is hidden from Paramatma. He knows that the secrets, the deepest secrets that we even we don't admit to ourselves. That is the intimate aspect of Paramatma. Okay? And Paramatma is the, it continues to log everything and basically gives us a Karan Sharir based on the desires that we have made and the kind of life we have led. And he runs the big data, maintains everything from Pratek lives, Pratek shans, Pratek sankalp is noted down by Paramatma. That much big data, uh, you know, God can maintain. Now, this, as we looked at it for the benefit of people who just joined in late, the first aspect was the Brahman aspect in which Satchidanan, it is, God is Satchidanan. The first aspect is the light, Brahman aspect of it, all pervading. Sat is active, Chit and Ananda dormant in this. The second one is Paramatma, which yogis, Ashtang yogis, they make it the goal of their realization. In this, some more attributes are manifested, but then the intimate divine associates 
they are the parikars are missing even in this one okay now let's get to the bhagwan no 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 hold on parmatma i'll explain you through another angle now okay just so that it recaps or ties the ends with what we have discussed in the past so if you look at it krishna is the param purush his planetary expansion is karno dakshai vishnu which is called mahavishnu which you can see on the right hand side vishnu is dreaming and thinking and creations are taking place one breath of vishnu we saw 100 years of brahma and one day of brahma we saw how big it is so mahavishnu is nothing but a planetary expansion of the param purush called krishna okay he is the president of material universe and also called pratham purush krishna is called param purush then it is called pratham purush his planetary expansion is called garbho dikshai vishnu which is called creator or the dritya purush and through him comes brahma and if every universe has its own brahma vishnu and mahesh and through the garbho dikshai vishnu comes kshiro dikshai vishnu which is called maintainer the tritya purush and kshiro dikshai vishnu permeates the entire universe which is nothing but parmatma that we just spoke about okay just so that you understand now let's move on the bhagwan aspect of it that we are talking about now bhagwan who is bhagwan okay dhanwan shoryavan sondaryavan so many vans we have right van means one somebody who possesses that and then uh, balwan so many vans are there and he is called bhagwan so when we have somebody with a particular small fragment of it we call it that van right that is also temporary and it's given in a very finite extent to jeevatmas and they become dhanwan balwan this one that one bhagwan means who has all of these things to un- unlimited infinite extent that is who bhagwan is including the power of renunciation as well right we do get attracted with people who are renunciates we could do get po- attracted with people who have power we do get attracted with people who look nice beautiful we do get pop you know attracted with people who are opulent so god has all these things that attracts us to infinite extent that is why he is called bhagwan and not one of the ones okay and that too permanently not like temporarily so let's look at who is bhagwan now we have spoken about the brahman aspect we have spoken about the parmatma aspect now let's talk about bhagwan and what bhakti shatak talks about it okay so bhakti shatak says now the we are talking is saying sarva shakti prakatya ho lila vividh prakar radhe radhe viharat parikar sang jo tehi bhag bhagwan pukar radhe radhe form of god in whom every divine power is fully manifested whose all beautiful divine form has unlimited name and virtues and who is always performing all loving leelas with his intimate divine associates in his divine abode is bhagwan krishna okay there is no more um all encompassing complete definition than what we have seen here so bhagwan is where god is in his full glory okay no nothing basically is hidden at that point and he just descends and reveals his true nature and takes on a form basically right like a glacier you have right brahman is like the complete expanse and when it takes on a form that is what bhagwan is so for people who say you cannot god cannot take on a form it's a very important thing to understand it is a limiting definition if you think that and bhagwan form is when he descends he chooses to take on a form god can choose to take on a form and in fact our scriptures go to the great lengths of explaining about the abodes of god as well right golok vrindavan is where lord krishna resides and just as premdan he takes avatar he takes purna avatar and then he takes avatar through mahavishnu also vishnu also and in 5000 years back it is said it was his purna avatar so now god is in full form it's just like that child who is having a bit of a uh, you know nature where they don't reveal their entire nature in in front of teacher they they will show only one aspect of their personality right others are hidden then in front of parents they will 
they will hide some then they will reveal more and then when they are with their cozy friends and all they are like no full form no no barriers whatsoever and whatever you can see them in their full glory same way when god takes on a bhagavan form he is in his full glory he is revealing his true nature he is just revealing his um you know how we can build that relationship with him and he's also telling us the secret behind how we can actually enslave him as well right all his leelas are actually done so that the jeevatma can benefit from it and know that we don't have to get over awed by his aura or his aishwarya shakti because if we think of god like god we will feel very insignificant in front of him like it happened to arjun when he showed his cosmic form you know he started fearing him he said you are so big i am so tiny i have called you with names and this and that so then formality came fear came so god says you leave aside my aishwarya and now i am going to give you reveal my true nature and give you a basis for my devotion and rasik saints when they come they tap into that aspect of god they leave god's aishwarya shakti aside and give us a basis for devotion on how we can build an intimate relationship with god right all the bhavs that we have spoken about just think of it the brahmand and i the most you know powerful the most influential the most beautiful the most cool person in this world is telling that i am willing to engage with you right and he is giving you a basis for that as well isn't it so exciting that this is the prospect of it and how does that happen can we build a relationship with light as a brahman as people say god is light yes god is light but how can you build a relationship with light so if you look at some of the other path they are very nearus you will hardly find interesting people in other path okay usually they are in bhakti only because they are getting the joy and rush of devotion in other path people become a little you know uh, it's a nearus path basically where you are just contemplating am brahman am brahman close your eyes think about light and that's about it it's a very it becomes a little insipid right so but bhagwan now you can make the path itself so joyful enjoyable that you don't even care about the journey of course it will happen in due course of time because you have built a relationship with god and guru but then the bliss itself is so much on the journey of god that uh, a devotee basically says all right it will happen in due course of time i'll just continue to work with my guru and his instructions the god realized guru and and the bliss of god is so much encouraging motivating that it keeps them on track and god takes responsibility of doing the course correction as well if need be that is the beauty of devotion and that is the beauty of worshiping god in the form of bhagwan and not as paramatma or brahman and bhagwan when he descends how does he descend does he hang upside down in, in the mother's womb for 9 months and then comes no through his yoga maya he can give a feeling to devaki or mother kaushalya that he is in his womb it will expand and all the feelings maybe a kick once in a while as well but then he simply comes he descends okay it's called an avatar descends it doesn't take birth in 4.9 lord krishna tomorrow will talk a little bit more about it he's saying we when people talk about right he is a person he was a human being he was a mahapurush and all that stuff he he is very clearly said he said that janma karma ch me divyam my birth and my acts are all divine and people who understand this secret come to my abode not everybody understand in fact there is a good possibility we have also seen god but we could not understand that secret and then in 911 god goes on to says that av jananti ma mudham ma manushim mam manushim tanu mashritam that when i descend in a human body people with dim intellect tomorrow we'll discuss that as well they think i am an ordinary person people think he is and he looks capable competent handsome but god no no may not be even duryodhan couldn't understand him and he said people who have dim intellect they don't get me but that is the way bhagwan comes and descends in this world right there are a lot of philosophies theories will come no but god cannot take birth i mean krishna was a mahapurush he was a yogi uh, this and that but scriptures tell us he is a param purush and him he himself is saying my acts and my birth are divine and people when i decide they don't understand who i am so that we have to take the refuge of scriptures to understand this concept so bhagwan is when he descends and janmashtami is when lord krishna descended that is what we are celebrating as well all right so i'll take a 
quick example, maybe a quick discussion. What's the time right now? We do have time, right? I want to get into our, give me a sec. Yeah, so let's talk about this concept. Are these same or different? We see a water, we see a vapor, and we see an ice. Are they same or they're different? Few minutes yeah. we can discuss before we get started with our interesting segment, uh, blissful segment that we are going to have anyways. Yes, Sandhya, you wanted to say something? Yeah, answer to your question. Mm -hmm. Chemically, they are all the same. Qual I mean, they are all H2O, but physically they are different, different forms. Yeah. They are different forms, yes, that's true. Now, if or even though they are technically, if you look at it, the H2O, right? Now, can you quench your thirst using an ice or a vapor? No. No. You cannot. What an ice does, water cannot. What water does, ice cannot, right? So similarly, technically, Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagwan all are same God. The properties, they change, right? Under a certain temperature, the water becomes a vapor, right? 100 degree centigrade, and then sub-zero temperature, it becomes an ice. Similarly, God, when he chooses to manifest some of his qualities or all of his qualities, the association or the way basis, the fundamental basis in which you can engage God also changes. Okay? That is where the difference between Gyan Marg, Bhakti Marg and, and Ashtang Yoga and other Marks come. Because the way you approach God, in one case, your Laksha is Paramatma aspect, the other one light, air Bhagwan. So the way you look at God, the way you build a relationship, the way you will do your day-to-day -day practices would vary as well. Even though you are still associating with the same Supreme Almighty. I hope that concept is clear. Any questions for a few minutes before we get started with our next round of participants for today's amazing devotional segment that I'm looking forward to? Little Bhai, Lakshmi had a question. Okay, you wanted to add. Yes, please. Okay, uh, little Bhai? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Lakshmi had a question. She asked that, is Paramatma the one God who recites in our hearts? Yes, Paramatma is the one which maintains the law. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wicked ji, Radhe Radhe. And that log is maintained so nicely that uh, he never forgets anything. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe, Radhe, Radhe Shambhi. Uh, on the slide that you are showing, so they are all same, but in a different form, which we all agree, right? So then my question is, I understand uh, we can if I can relate like water as a Bhagavan, as you mentioned so far, but then how do I take that ice cube versus vapor with the Paramatma and uh, if we can, if we can relate. There is no direct correlation, but if I were to loosely map it, then the form aspect is only exhibited in ice, right? It has taken on a form. Right? So if I could loosely do that, that was just to drive an analogy. There is no one-to-one -one correspondence, just to drive home the point that the same thing can take on a form as well. And at the same time, it could be all permeating and it could be different. Basically, you can have all the three, three states exist and technically they could still be the same, even though their manifestation or their properties could change based on the form it has taken. And that is the whole idea when I spoke about Brahman. Sat, only Sat aspect is uh, active. The other two are dormant. Right in the second one, the parikar aspect is missing, and in the Bhagwan, everything God is in His full glory. Nam, root, kun, dhila, lal, parikar, everything is displayed in in the Bhagwan form when He descends, and that is why we are celebrating Janmashtami. Right, it's a big occasion. It is the birthday of your papas, 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 papa, basically. Right, so that is that is how important it is, which we don't understand. If it's our uh, milestone birthday for our dad and all, we will go out of the way to celebrate it, but. Think deeply about it. Whose birthday it is? The person who is base, who's the very basis of our life, right? Of our life heirs, who's given us this opportunity to come in a human form, who has helped us meet gurus from lifetime, you know, multi, you know, this lifetime or in different lifetimes as well, and who has given us the ability to even enjoy the small, small blisses that we enjoy, right? So it's his birthday. Think about the gravity of the situation. And he's so cool, right? He, he's saying. You just develop a relationship with me and I'm all for it in whatever way you can. And, and I'm all yours. 
so that is what janmashtami is i hope we can appreciate that right krishna lord krishna who's lord krishna here so that's how it is hope i answered your question a little bit yes yes definitely thank you so much yes. okay we'll spend five more minutes because bhajan is something i'm really looking forward to and pail ji i'm glad you could make it from leh she's in leh ladakh by the way but still you are able to make it so we are we, are, we feel lucky today hopefully you can sing as well so let's uh, let's take really quick uh, namaskaram manush manoranjan ji and sudhakar ji will take two questions and then we'll get started yeah am i audible yes Very you well. are radhe radhe yeah uh, radhe radhe uh, first of all uh, happy janmashtami to all of you all, all the participants i have a question actually you are discussing about uh, bhagwan mm -hmm. you define you defined uh, bhagwan <laughs> So the I question is that i did not define uh, scriptures defined it so no i am saying that you were narrating the scriptures right sure. so uh, uh, my question to you is that uh, you said that uh, lord krishna uh, the bhagwan can be attributed to lord krishna mm -hmm. but uh, i'm saying that whether uh, lord shiva cannot be considered as a bhagwan why not lord, he cannot be considered as a bhagwan yes we have spoke so manoranjan you need to continue to attend the sessions Shivratri, we will talk about. We have spoken about this concept. Lord Shiva, Lord Ram, they are all the same. It's the same father in different moods. They are all Bhagwan. Very true. But we will get more deeper into that if you have more questions, because we have spoken at length on this topic. Lord Ram, Lord Shiva, they are all the same Almighty God, Swanch aspect of God. Okay, so they are all Bhagwan. You are right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, Sudhakar ji. अल्लाह which in my opinion is something like brahma is it right possibly i don't know the the nuances of it as such but yes in any tradition if they they worship god as a formless then it's typically brahman right greeks yeah. if you go back to greeks they would they would worship uh, the nature like pygmalions that civilization was there they would worship nature and all so whenever we bring in that aspect of god which cannot be attributed to a form then it is there essentially worshiping brahman now they may call it with a different name but it is essentially brahman you may call it papa or you may call it my mummy's husband right you are still calling the same person so they may call it allah or somebody but essentially you referring to the same person yeah yeah that's what because i had a some discussions with my some muslim friends and i understand that this is basically same what i'm trying to say is people have a some misconception about other religions or yep. lower lower perception other way but i feel that everybody is doing the same it's yes. only the question of uh, yes. saying that uh, you saying that my father is great or your father is great <laughs> it is like this that's true okay, thank you very much yeah. yeah so people when see religious religion is uh, divisive although that was never the intent of it but when you start going beyond that deep into religion you will see there is unity in diversity right everything is pointing to the same thing so that appreciation comes when you start going deeper in the religious principles as such so spirituality is is unifying religion typically divides you because we get um, you know we we divide ourselves based on our belief system but when you go deeper into that these things fade away all by itself just because of you get start getting better knowledge and proper understanding around these uh, concepts so that's how it's meant to be yeah thank you great so are we good then i would hand it over to our co-host to get started with our devotional segment to get started with our janmashtami special segment that we have so Who's going to take over? Sandhya, Shamji, do we know the list of participants and in what order we want to? Uh, yes, we have a list of people. But as yesterday we had Reva Ji as in Probdo, so who else is willing to do in Probdo? We are there for them. But before that, we'll start with the people who have names given to us. Sure. So we'll start with Ashutosh Ji since he has some uh, urgent uh, work. Ashutosh Ji, are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, let's spotlight Ashutosh Ji. So yesterday we were Ashutosh Ji. Please go ahead. 
राधे 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 my pandit is not cooperating with me today are you able to hear me we are able yes, to yes, see you. we are not able to see you though ashutosh yeah, there is the reason means my bandwidth is not okay, okay no, no worry we will manage with your voice only today please go ahead why is it not that good actually <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead go ahead go ahead okay radhe 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 ambar pranam to guru gan Okay, you may want to cut off your video and focus on audio because it's cutting off Ashutosh the time and again. Okay, so I'll give it a try. Give it a try. If we'll see how that bandwidth goes. Amma priya tam sundar sham chavi koti kam bira thau chavi lal lala. गुरुनाथ नहीं चाह वैकुंठ लला चह श्याम प्रेम दिश का नहीं चाह वैकुंठ लला चह श्याम प्रेम दिश का इन्हीं चह सेवा बिना श्री नंद नंदन धन श्याम श्री भानु नंदिनी बाीला ललित लगा नित कर वृंदावन मम प्रियतम सुंदर श्याम छवि कोटि काम गिरा ध्याम श्याम लला त्रिभुवन मोहन है काम काम मोहन है श्याम श्यामा मोह शोषण जो बस बरसान श्यामा मोह तो बस बर जानो धाम तो बिक गई अब बिनु धाम जग कहा भल कुल बाम मेरे रोम रोम रम श्याम जग सो कृपाल नहीं काम मम प्रियतम सुंदर श्याम छवि कोटि काम वेरी नाइस आशुतोष जी वी कुड सेंस योर भाव ऑल्सो वर कमिंग आउट and i think it was difficult for you to hold your hold yourself back right while you were singing very nice beautiful i think bhav is the real uh, real thing actually in the path of devotion so very nice thank you so much um yeah. for taking lead on that i i thoroughly enjoyed it loved it i can recite a couple of lines it reminds me of another beautiful bhajan um say on the same tune uh, it came to my mind can i take a two minutes or do we have other participants please, please all yours all yours please go ahead okay yeah man karu sumiran radha hai jeevan dhan radha sham ho swami niradha जय जयती जयती राधा 
रटु नेत्य नाम राधा नित गाऊ गुणन राधा रटु नेत्य नाम राधा नित गाऊ गुणन राधा नित ध्यावहु छवि राधा जय जयति जयति राधा हरे राम हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे मन करु सुमिरन राधा ए जीवन धन राधा श्याम हो स्वामी राधा जय जयति जयति राधा ऑल राइट थैंक यू आई थिंक इट हैड अ सिमिलर टू ट्यून लाइक uh ashutosh ji so it reminded me of his beautiful bhajan all no, right sir. wonderful it is this is the power of love power of bhakti it's so even so blissful you just can't describe it bhai so perfect thank you so much radhe radhe yeah, we had few participants but i can't see anybody's hand raised we had shefali ji sandhya ji shirabya yes. ji pa ji pragya ji you have to raise your hand and you have to keep your videos on and please get started yeah Thank you so much, Shri Ramya Ji. Radhe Radhe. Shri Ramya next. Okay, Shri Ramya. Sorry, I hope I didn't steal your thunder. Okay, we still have a lot of time. Uh, no, uh, Radhe Radhe. You have set the bar uh, too high for me. <laughs> so I am in fresh mood to sing. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, please. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, uh, I, I'll be uh, singing the uh, Madhura Ashtakam. आधरम मधुरम वरम मधुरम नयनम मधुरम हसीतम मधुरम हृदय मधुरम गमनम मधुरम मधुराधिपते अखिल मधुरम वचनम मधुरम चरित मधुरम वसनम मधुरम वलित मधुरम चलित मधुरम भ्रमित मधुरम मधुराधिपते अखिल मधुरम बेनो मधुरो रेणो मधुरो पाणी मधुरा पात मधुर नृत्यम मधुरम नृत्यम मधुरम मधुराधिपते अखिल मधुरम गीत मधुरम गीत मधुरम मुक्त मधुरम सुक्त मधुरम रूप मधुरम तिलक मधुरम मधुराधिपते अखिलम मधुरम शरण मधुरम शरण मधुरम शरण मधुरम रमण मधुरम वमित मधुरम शमित मधुरम मधुराधिपते अखिल मधुरम गुंजा मधुरा माला मधुरा यमुना मधुरा लीची मधुरा चलिल मधुरम कमल मधुरम मधुराधिपते अखिल मधुरम गोपी मधुरा लीला मधुरा युक्त मधुरम मुक्त मधुरम दृष्ट मधुरम श्रेष्ठ मधुरम मधुराधिपते 
अखिलम मधुरम गोपा मधुरा गो मधुरा या फिर मधुरा कृष्ण मधुरा दलितम मधुरम पलितम मधुरम मधुरा की पते अखिलम मधुरम मधुरा की पते अखिलम मधुरम Thank you, Shri Ramya Ji. Do you have it uh, memorized by heart? Very nice, beautiful rendition. No, no, I was looking into the screen. <laughs> I don't know it by heart. Nice, nice, very nice, very nicely sung and uh, loved your uh, emotions behind that. So beautiful rendition. Thank you again. Loved it. Thank you. Who who is next then? You guys see. Sh- Isn't that we have some messages pulling from all the participants for uh, for you and Ashutosh Ji. Asha ji says heartfelt singing devotion. Mani ji says beautiful bhav that came from Ashish Ashutosh ji and Swati ji. So everybody is praising Pallavi ji. So that's the how way it goes. Krishna is Krishna the way he just makes us dance to his tunes. The way he does it, it's immense, impeccable. Only he can do that such things. I guess beautiful. Power of his God can do such such things. And as Ravi Ji yesterday missed the class, and he came to us, I remember one song from the late Mayadi. It says, "Sade na raoge the ash karoge." That's the way it goes. The session is just out of the world. You stay with us, and you will just see all the pleasures of the world. Not materially, but yes, it is. It is all for your heart, for your mind, for your soul. Trust you, big. You have to have day in day out, and please put the cameras on to really have a feel of it. Yes. Please turn your cameras on. That will be really nice. And like you said, uh, we have been doing the dance of Maya anyways, lifetime after lifetime, and it's good to dance for God for a change, right? And yeah. uh, if you get a chance, do do a Hanuman Padhati Kirtan with Swami Ji. He makes you dance like anything. In every retreat, that is the highlight of every day. You just dance your heart out for God, right? So dance of Maya, we all know. We all all do it every day. <laughs> but dancing for god is a different experience in itself for sure let's move on to the participants i'm looking forward to the remaining participation the registered participants let's take them and look at their performances and then we will take up the impromptu one by the way saturday sunday we have online celebrations for janmashtami as well from our kitty and we have a lot of talent in this group so if you have not registered that is fine you can still do impromptu singing so please do show up and do impromptu singing there it will it will make it a much more uh, enriching event in that case all right who's the next uh, participant ali ji radhe radhe shefali you are under the spotlight now correct on mute yourself shall give me a sec are you able to hear me yes yes we are able yeah. to go ahead all right just a Uh, is my screen visible to everyone yes we can see a beautiful krishna already please go ahead yeah uh yeah uh, radhe radhe everyone uh, with the uh, grace of god and guru i'm going to start with the uh, kalyanag leela today uh, once uh, krishna sakhas were playing with ball by the banks of yamuna river the rule was uh, whosoever throws the ball in the river will have to go and fetch the ball from the water suddenly krishna noticed that uh, some of his sakhas who were going close to the yamuna river were getting suddenly fainted so if it would have been today we would have been rushed to the doctor but krishna knew that what was the real problem in the uh, river uh, in the river uh, Yamuna there was a very virulent serpent Kaliya Nag was residing his poison was such a tremendous one that even the vapors of his poison like polluted the Yamuna river and the people going closer to the Yamuna were getting fainted and the other thing was Sogori Rishi also used to like sit and meditate in the Yamuna river so Garuna was also not allowed near the banks of the Yamuna the kaliya nag used to reside with his wives nag patnis in the yamuna river but due the venom of the kaliya nag was like causing harm to many of the people so krishna decided that let me do something about it 
So what Krishna did was he threw a ball in the river and thought like now I have to like uh, like like do something about this situation. So what Krishna did, he threw the ball in the water and jumped into the river. When he th tried to grab the ball, he started churning the water. This so much churning of water annoyed Kaliya Nath so much that he came out of the water and tried to grab Krishna. By seeing all this, the Sakha started crying and this news also spread to uh, Nandraj and Yashoda. They also came near the banks of the Yamuna. Yashoda was just ready to jump in the river to save Krishna. By seeing all this, now Krishna decided, ki, okay, I have to do something now. That's uh, enough of it. Because if I don't do something, someone may jump into the river to save him. So Krishna like started fighting with Kalyanak. Kal what Kalyanak did, he started uh, like, um, uh, Kalyanak started like grabbing Krishna's body. But then what Krishna did, he started like uh, growing in size bigger and bigger and so that Kalyanak couldn't hold him any longer. So Kalyanak had to like release Krishna. In this way, Krishna like stood up on the Kalyanak's hood and the dance started, as you can see on the screen. This was a beautiful dance that Krishna did on the moving platform of Kalyanath. And what Krishna did was like, uh, what Krishna did, he uh, like danced on the moving platform of the Kalyanath's hood. He like jumped from one hood to another and by subduing Kalyanath, by seeing all this, like, after the situation, the Kalyanag's mouth was filled with blood. He was closed to his, his death. By seeing all this, Kalyanag's wives, the Nagpatnis, appeared and started praying to Krishna that, see, Lord Krishna, we knew our husband is an evil. That is why he has been born in a serpent's body. But however, now we feel that he's the very fortunate one. Why? Because... Then they said that the biggest yogis even yearn to get the dust of your lotus feet. And our husband is very fortunate to get the dust of your lotus feet. So in this way, we feel that our husband is the really fortunate one. By hearing all this and seeing all this, Kalyanag's hurt also got transformed. So he asked for forgiveness from Lord Krishna, by hearing, by seeing all this, the Lord Krishna also forgave Kalyanag and instructed him to get out of the Braj and to not annoy anyone in the Braj at all. In this way, all the Brajwasis like continued their beautiful lives with Krishna. So this was it for the Kalyanag Leela of Lord Krishna. Thank you so much. Hey, Samji Singh, let's party now. Krishna has won. Thank you, Shifali. That was very nice uh, storytelling. You are a very nice storyteller. You discovered a new talent now. And uh, I love the, the picture collection that you got and the animation you got from Darling of Vrindavan movie. Very nicely narrated. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And bringing to so life this beautiful Leela. I'll tell you another aspect about this Leela. When Krishna actually danced on his fangs, right? So the best dance form, as we know, is known as the Tandav that Lord Shiva does. So even Lord Shiva came to watch that performance of Krishna. That dance that he performed is probably the best ever dance done by anybody in the history of this creation. Okay, that was the dance that Krishna did on his fangs, you know, how he meticulously, if you look at some of those steps, Beautiful, very nice, uh, Shefani, and uh, I can thank see you so people. Much, thank you so much for that, thank bringing you. it to life. Purvi ji, Vidakshi ji, Svita ji, Svita ji, Pallavi ji, Swati ji, all are praising for the wonderful presentation. Though we all know these Leelas very much, but still it's a different way of, of, of presenting to us today. It's also wonderful. Very creative. Way. Very creative. Yeah. Good job. Uh, thank you so much, Wali. Thank you so much. Uh, then we have Reva ji and Pragya ji. So I don't see their hands raised. Uh, Reva ji, Pragya ji are there? Yeah, have we covered all the part registered participants? Still two to go. Reva ji and Pragya ji are still to go. 
okay okay uh, pragya ji won't be able to join today so okay. i think we can ask reva ji reva ji are you there reva ji we loved seeing you yesterday hope your uh, new laptop is still cooperating and you can turn your video on today reva ji can you hear us so in the meantime we can take uh, sandhya ji sandhya sandhya go ahead sure sure okay. go ahead sandhya yeah yeah sakhi duo both spotlighted <laughs> sandhya yeah just a minute so you take it everybody no worries see we have all the time in the world so take your time as you all know this is this platform is giving us so much bliss so imagine what all would happen at dallas rkt mm. people who are around dallas so please come and visit the temple which was me it is a blissful happy happy time out there people around dallas please go visit the temple the the event is on for janmashtami it is from today it's going on to 20th of august so please 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 go since we are in india we can't go but still we will love to go there through your eyes through your soul through your mind leg yeah sir sandhya ji all yours all your sandhya thank you sham ji um, yes sandhya go ahead you can see my screen yes we can see yes we can see radhe radhe everyone um, and this is my humble attempt to present one leader which has been beautifully presented by uh, swami ji and uh, maharaj ji has written this uh, uh, leela so i'll just try and this was an absolutely new leela to me so i got mesmerized when i heard swami ji describing this so i just wanted to uh, present it to all of you so uh, this leela is uh, one of the maan bhanjan leela so maan bhanjan basically means uh, maan is upset and bhanjan so basically radha rani got upset from shri krishna and this is a leela describing a conversation between them and what shri krishna did to kind of uh, with his beautiful tricks get her in uh, into his court okay so um, yeah so basically krishna was supposed to visit radha rani in her palace and uh, he had promised her but instead of going to her he ended up going to chandravali she was one of the uh, gopis and uh, swami ji says the enemy camp but basically the idea here is it's not the, like the politics that we see here it is beyond what we experience in the material world so in the golo the whole idea of every soul is just to please the god and guru just to serve them uh, the, in the best possible way and that was the idea here and uh, radha rani was upset because uh, she knew that she was the one who could please krishna in the best way and that's why that that opportunity was lost and krishna wasn't made uh, wasn't pleased in that way so she became very upset krishna uh, visited her and uh, he tried to approach her and she'll just turn her uh, you know uh, uh, turn away from him whenever he tried so now krishna had only one option that he had to use his brahmastra because the situation was very very serious so he decided to dress up as a lady and that's where the term comes veena vari nari so uh, he uh, wore a saffron sari and he tied his hair behind and put flowers and got a veena in his hand so you can imagine what you know about mirabai he dressed up like that and he took that avatar and then our very own param purush shri krishna became the veena vari nari and he went to kusum sarovar so kusum sarovar is something i can also relate with because i recently uh, visited there so uh, it's beautiful and this is uh, a place which is near varsana and radha rani used to go there to pluck flowers and now the radha rani was super upset uh, uh, whenever someone is upset they like to spend time with themselves and that's what krishna was absolutely sure about that this time also radha rani will go to kusum sarovar and he then uh, sat there in kusum sarovar uh, in a particular pose where his chin was kept up uh, down on his hand and this has been beautifully described uh, 
by Maharaj Ji. So I will not be able to go through this, but I'll share it with you all because this is very, very beautiful. Uh, so basically, this is how our Shri Krishna looked in the Veena Vari Nari form. And then the conversation started. So basically, Radharani spotted uh, Krishna over there. And she was like, who is this beautiful lady? So I should specify here. So we know that Shri Krishna himself is unlimited times beautiful, uh, handsome, as compared to Kamdev that we know is the most beautiful uh, man as uh, of, of the three worlds. And his wife, Rati, who is also uh, uh, beautiful, uh, is nothing in front of Sri Krishna in the Veena Vari Nari form. So, and Radha Rani had this natural tendency to get attracted towards uh, Sri Krishna. Uh, and that's what happened. This is also called that she had Nesargiki Rati towards uh, Krishna. So she got attracted and she just went towards him and she asked, uh, who, where are you from? Uh, who's your husband? Now Krishna got into thought that if I cannot say anything because if I say that I am from this village or that, the Sakhis and Radharani will question, we haven't seen you, show your face and my pole will get open. So that's when uh, he said that I am not married. I am a Kumari and I am not from this world. I am from Devlok. So looking at this, um, Radharani was surprised that such a beautiful lady who has come from the celestial abode is also unmarried. How come she is, you know, detached and... And then Krishna had a chance to play along. So he said that, you know, I don't see any happiness in this world. And that is why I pulled my mind away from the world. I established renunciation, detachment in my heart. And hence, I have become a sadhvi. Radharani was now completely impressed. She said that this person has so much of wisdom. She is a sadhvi. I should make uh, her as my guru. So she basically approached her and asked that, can you become my guru? Uh, can you please visit my house? And that's when Sri Krishna again wanted to play hard because, you know, things which come easily may not be uh, given as much value as things which come uh, with difficulty. So Sri Krishna said, Bacha, I don't go to house of Grahasthis. I don't go to the house of uh, householders. Then uh, Radhanani requested that it is not for your sake, but for my sake. If, if your dust of your lotus feet can fall in my house, my house will get sanctified. I want to become your disciple. And then again, Sri Krishna said, okay. So now Sri Krishna got the opportunity to ask whatever he wants, right? So he said, Bacha, do you know what it means to make Guru? You will have to follow every instruction of mine. And Radharani simply said, yes, Babaji, that is absolutely my goal. I am willing to follow. Now you, uh, you please come. Then, so at, actually at this stage, uh, Maharaji's uh, pad uh, finishes and then uh, it is up to uh, the imagination. But uh, beautifully, Swamiji has added his own uh, version after this that what would have happened. So he says that after this, uh, Radha Rani would have taken Krishna to his uh, to her palace and would have served uh, Krishna, uh, done his aarti and uh, washed his feet and served him and would have asked, uh, what is your agya for me? And then Sri Krishna would have said, uh, Bacha, after half an hour, you will find a blue complexion boy under that tree and you go there, fall at his feet and say, I am so sorry I fought with you. After this, I will never do it again. <laughs> and that's how Sri Krishna managed to do what he wanted to. Uh, and then uh, Radharani uh, convincingly agreed. All right, Gurudev, your instruction is my Shirodhari. I will put it on my head and I'll follow it. Any other instruction? And Sri Krishna said, yeah, from time to time, I will give, give you darshan and give you the needed instructions. So this is how uh, this uh, Leela concluded. 
and uh, i hope this might have brought some smile on your face as it did to me <laughs> that's it thank you radhe radhe thank you sandhya for beautiful leela i think you will did full justice to this uh, such a sweet leela that it is in fact uh, i had not heard about it the first time i was hearing and it was so engrossing and captivating the way you narrated it and trivangi lal right lord krishna is called trivangi lal he gets things done in his own crooked ways i love it let's hear from some reactions from the participants as well it was it was an amazing deal and swami ji's color commentary on you know what maharaj ji left to our imagination is wonderful too so thank and you and i'll swami. share the link of swami ji's uh, please, commentary please, please. he has done it beautifully i was so mesmerized when i was hearing it so i'll share that link yeah beautiful very nice thank you for bringing it to life in the session loved every bit of it thank yes. you so much sandhya ji like it is say the first time i heard a story to say where swati ji urvi vidakshi yeah. ji alvi perfect sir thank Very you good. so much anshul really loved it good storytellers and and the politics of golok you brought to life as well huh? that politics is a little different in the sense that it is for we know better how to please krishna not as as opposed to we need more bliss than you do right so there's a shift a paradigm shift from what how we see that but very nice narration uh, that's where we have to go from our pleasure to god's pleasure true very true yeah all right thank you sandhya for a beautiful story do we have any more participants registered participants for today we had two more uh, pragya ji deva ji pragya ji is out of out of bed she will do it tomorrow okay. and deva ji has not uh, said so far so we are done for today so we can take some participants impromptu sudhakar ji radhe radhe so we can take a few impromptu yes sudhakar ji uh, radhe radhe okay radhe yesterday i did not attend i am not sure uh, is it possible for me to try to sing a kirtan which i learned from joge session or it is uh, something different this is your sudhakar ji yeah this is the impromptu part so yeah uh, okay Please maybe my it. voice is not melodious but i'll try what i learned so i thought to take the opportunity on this uh, divine occasion of uh, janmashtami thank you very much for giving me the it may take about 4 uh, 5 minutes i hope it is not a problem yeah about yeah 3 to 4 minutes actually <coughs> let's not make it too long so that way we can retain please go ahead pyaro lage nand lala pyaro lage nand lala hame to bado pyaro lage प्यारो लगे नंद लाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे प्यारो लगे नंद लाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे शीश मुकट अरु तिलक विराजे शीश मुकट अरु तिलक विराजे शीश मुकट अरु तिलक विराजे शीश मुकट अरु तिलक विराज गले वजयंती माला गले वजयंती माला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे प्यारो लगे नंद लाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे चैल छबीलो रसक रंगीलो चैल छबीलो रसक रंगीलो तेल चबीलो रसक रंगीलो तेल चबीलो रसक रंगीलो तेल चबीलो रसक रंगीलो चैल चबीलो रसक रंगीलो मोहन मुरली वाला मोहन मुरली वाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे प्यारो लगे नंद लाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे प्यारो लगे नंद लाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे भूली सकल देह जब देखी 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 कारी कमरी वाला 
कारी कमरी वाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे प्यारो लगे नंद लाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे लगे एक हित अब नीखी लागे एक हित न अब नीखी लागे मुरली धन गोपाला मुरली धन गोपाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे प्यारो लगे नंद लाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे रसिया बिन सब ठीक हो लागे रसिया बिन सब पीखो लागे रसिया बिन सब पीखो लागे रसिया बिन सब पीखो लागे छप्पन भोग रसाला छप्पन भोग रसाला हमें तो बड़ो प्यारो लगे ओके सुधाकर जी आई थिंक योर थ्री मिनट्स गॉट ओवर बट इट वॉज अ वेरी नाइस रेंडिशन लॉट ऑफ भाव इन दैट wonderful um i hope you can uh, bring that to life um you know in our next sessions as well so thank you so much for reciting that i saw one more hand raised so that we can cover everyone do we have anybody else or we are good rudra ji was there though he is not there who else just okay just we all right to just radhe 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 ke maya radhe radhe just we ji yeah i'll try to sing shri krishna ka vind hari murari please please श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा एक मत स्वामी सका हमारे एक मत स्वामी सका हमारे हे नाद नारायण वासुदेवा श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे हे नाद नारायण वासुदेवा मंदी ग्रह में तुम अवतारी कहीं जन्मे कहीं पले मुरारी मंदी ग्रह में तुम अवतारी कहीं जन्मे कहीं पले मुरारी किसी के जाए किसी के कहाए हे अद्भुत हर बात तिहारी गोकुल में चमके मथुरा के तारे गोकुल में चमके मथुरा के तारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा अधर में बंसे व्रदय मेरा दे अधर में बंसे व्रदय मेरा दे बट गयो दोनों में आधे आधे बट गये दोनों में आधे आधे श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा हे राधा नागर हे भक्त वत्सल हे राधा नागर हे भक्त वत्सल सदैव भक्तों के काम साधे सदैव भक्तों के काम साधे वही गए वही गए जहाँ गए पुखारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा राधे कृष्ण राधे राधे कृष्ण कृष्ण राधे राधे कृष्ण राधे कृष्ण राधे राधे कृष्ण कृष्ण राधे कृष्ण राधे कृष्ण राधे राधे कृष्ण कृष्ण राधे राधे Jaswi ji, very nice. Thank you so Thank you. much. Mm-hmm. Beautiful uh, rendition. See, Krishna brings out, you know, all the outpour of emotions within us, and I'm so glad you took this opportunity 
uh, to come on video and you know recite it. It was very very nice. And Yesterday I was feeling okay. very upset because I was not able to participate. I was like, oh, wish, uh, because all this time I was like not really into like bhajans and singing. But um, after like I was listening to PLG and all other participants, I was so motivated. And I was like getting the bhav before I was like, I was like most like interested in sotras because that was the way to please the God. And I was like not really paying attention to the bhav of bhajans. But after attending these classes, uh, looking at all the participants bhav, I started loving bhajan. And yesterday I was like, oh, I wanted to sing something. I know my voice is not good. I don't know any bhajan, but I want to sing something. Uh, yeah was feeling that I wanted to also thank all the participants so like Pallavi ji, um, Sandhya ji, Sham ji, uh, Padma ji, uh, Nitin bhaiya, uh, Rahul bhaiya, Ashutosh ji, Sam ji and everybody, everybody like they are like every day they share some um, wisdom nuggets or their feelings or they ask some questions from which we always get benefited and like I was like feeling so feeling blissful you know attending these classes even though i'm like doing multitasking my ears are always here and sometimes i miss something but i i always like wherever i want i want to like attend these classes yeah and this has really helped me a lot i never had a courage to come on the video or like unmute and talk i was very shy and yeah i have stayed here so but I didn't want it to miss this opportunity. Thank you. So glad <laughs> this Janmashtami, you broke that barrier and inhibition that you had of not coming on camera and unmuting yourself. And I'm so glad we could hear you and hope this is first of many that we will hear from you as we go along. Both you and Sudhakarji, you know, your enthusiasm was so palpable, you know, when you were uh, reciting it. And uh, I can't thank you enough for coming and, you know, participating so beautifully and enthusiastically we'd love to hear more from you Tejasuji. where are you joining us from I think uh, california california okay got it so so good to have you on these sessions and please keep uh, uh, turning on your cameras and uh, you know actively participating in our discussions and bhajan anyway we've added that component to all of our sessions now so that devotion element will always be there regardless of what we are discussing Thank you so much for that, Tejasvi. Thank you very much. All right, I can take maybe two more hands. Uh, I can see Nituji again. So, yes, uh, Shamji, you wanted to add something? Thank so you. This is a power of love for God. Like today, we are all here and we are breaking the barriers to come forward, open the cameras, open the heart out for Krishna. This is all Krishna can do, such things. Nobody else can do. And yeah, that's true. That's the way he is. Yeah, I mean, we. we all, all the outpour of heart can be done at this right it, it's for god I mean, for yeah. god you know who's god his birthday is coming up so yeah, and it's it is a satsang right so um, we can just come forward and do do our best and we when we are singing for god we, we automatically get that energy and and all the enthusiasm that is needed around it okay let's see couple of hands are there we can take maybe a few couple more and then um we can, uh, I think we had a pretty good discussion as well as a lot of beautiful presentations and bhajans. So maybe we can take a couple of more hands. Manojiji, Radhe Radhe. Radhe Manojiji. And then Neetuji is there as well. So Neetuji, hang tight until then. Manojanji, Namaskaram. Namaskar. Uh, uh, this is the second time we are doing Namaskar. So, uh, no, uh, so nevertheless, uh, so Kabir says, Kabiraman Nirmal Bhaya. Jai se Ganga Neer Peechhe Peechhe Hari Pire Kahat Kabir Kabir so, The Lord is Bhakta Vashal. He always runs after Bhakta. So in the Eva of Janmashtami, so let us highlight this aspect of Bhakta Vashal of Lord. So there used to be a Bhakti in the 11th century AD in Odisha known as Bhakta Salabek. He was a Muslim in by religion. But it is one of the ardent lover uh, bhakta of Lord Jagannath, and he has written many poems, songs in the praise of the Lord. So one of the song is I'll just have two pantis on that. So it says, Ahe nila saila prabana mata barana moharata nalini 
बन कुकर दलन आहे नील शैल घोर बने मृगुणी की पड़ी थी कसण एडे बड़ा विपद रु उधारी लण आहे नील शैल कुरुसभा तले शुणी द्रौपदी रजाण कोटी वस्त्र दे तार लज्जा कल बारण आहे नील शैल सो सालवेग सेज दैट ओ लॉर्ड दैट देर इज ए फायर विद इन मी देर इज ए फायर विद इन मी द फायर ऑफ एंगर द फायर ऑफ लास्ट the fire of greed that there's all going on me i request you to be a mad elephant and just come and just squash and just uh, just uh, damage all those fires which is burning uh, i like a mad elephant which actually uh, relinquishes uh, the the forest fire so likewise uh, you uh, you come to my heart and uh, and uh, just uh, diminish just damage all the fire of anger lust greed within me O oh Lord, I pray, please, as you have held Draupadi, as you have held Rugani, as you have held the Gaja, you help me like this. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Manoranjan ji. Um, it's amazing, right? How much, how much variety we have when it comes to offering prayers to God, right? Pretty much in all the dialects, all the languages. So when it comes to worshiping God, you can find so many gems, like uh, you know, from. the one that the manoranjan ji brought forward today so amazing beautiful thank you so much uh, manoranjan ji always a pleasure to hear from you all right we can probably take the remaining hands as well i think we have a little bit of time so we have some time yes nitu ji radhe 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 nitu ji yeah radhe radhe sham ji nitin ji and everybody so it's really my second time <laughs> you did really well yesterday by the way yashomati maiya was very nicely you just saving that i know that And it will only get better with time. So please go ahead. We are all ears. Okay, I'm just I'm just trying. Yeah, I'm doing. Sure, 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 sure. Sure. Shyam, tere inte pukare radha naam. Shyam, tere banti pukare radha naam. Log kare mera ko yehi badna. लोग करे मेरा को नहीं बदना श्याम तेरी बंसी पुकारे राधा नाम लोग करे मेरा को नहीं बदना लोग करे मेरा को नहीं बदना श्याम सावर की बंसी तो बजने से काम सावर की बंसी को तो बजने से काम राधा कभी श्याम वो तो मेरा कभी श्याम राधा कभी श्याम वो तो मेरा कभी श्याम श्याम तेरी बंसी को तो करे राधा नाम लोग करे मेरा को तो बदना Yes, okay. Very nice, Nituji, and I have a feeling when you will turn on your camera, it will come out even better. <laughs> Very nice, Thank beautifully you. sung. A uh, lot of love and uh, love, love to keep hearing from you more often. Okay, and I'm glad Pail Ji yes. inspired so many people to start singing. Yes, Pail Ji, you, Sham Ji, and Sandhya Ji, Shefali, everybody, everybody. Yeah, Sham Ji was especially amused today. Okay, he's thanking his father and grandfather for naming him Sham today. Yes, true, true. I'm so blessed. I can't tell you. I'm the same feeling today. I thank my grandfather that he made me. He made my name this. I'm totally blessed. Trust you me. And luckily, my birthday falls after him. Same, same week, same month. What else? What else can I ask? Nothing beyond that. This is what I all need and what I have. And and the budget says. राधा का भी शाम मीरा का भी शाम मैं तो बोलता हूँ शाम का भी शाम राहुल का भी शाम मिथिल का भी शाम ही इज फॉर एवरीबडी जस्ट डोंट नीड नेम्स यू जस्ट 
you just love him remember him and he is there for you all arms every way you just just pray to him or just remember him he is there for you yes very no second thank you very true see how happy blissful it is just talking about lord krishna and reciting bhajan how blissful it is just and that is the beauty of the path of devotion right especially raganuga bhakti that we are in now if you are just engaging in light what fun it is right it can become very insipid and lord krishna if you simply talk about him glorify him repeat his leelas that itself will start giving you that thrill that you would not otherwise feel no matter what you are doing in material world right that is how beautiful devotion the path of devotion is yeah. all right so, quite a few hands are raised now maybe you can pick the last Ratna two or three now ratna ji rahul wanted to add and then patna ji so let's quickly move on to ratna ji yeah, all hands i know yesterday we had a pretty extended session as well so let's do that for the sake of lord krishna so radhe nitya ji radhe radhe everyone i think the enthusiasm of the group is really like let me up so uh, yes, very very yes. excited thank you i'll sing one of uh, achyut ashtakam yes please achyutam keshavam ramanarayanam krishna da मोदरम वासुदेव हरि श्रीधर माधव कोलभम जानकनायक रामचंद्रम भजे अच्युत केशव सत्यमाधव माधव श्रीधर राधिका राधित इंदिरा मंदिर चेतसा सुंदर देवकनंदनम नंदज संधे विष्णवे जिष्णवे शंखिणे चक्रिणे रुक्मिणी रागिणे जानकी जानहे वल्लवी वल्लभा याचितायात्मने वल्लवी वल्लभा याचितायात्मने कंसवे वंशिने ते नम कृष्ण गोविंद हे राम नारायण श्रीपते वासुदेवाचिता श्रीनिधे अच्युतानंद हे माधव दोक्षजा द्वारका नायक द्रौपदी रक्षक थैंक यू रत्ना जी वेरी नाइस लुक्स लाइक यू आर यू अ ट्रेन सिंगर इन क्लासिकल एनी चांस और अनमी टू यू नो सो यू साइड रियली ब्यूटीफुली वेल रत्ना जी वेरी सोलफुल and your voice and it it was very touching and i'm sure a lot of people would have felt it thank you nitin ji i've just started learning uh, not much of a train you, you, but your sur and tal and voice was immaculate so very nice good day thank you and where are you joining us from ratna ji no uh, from bangalore oh mm-hmm. bangalore i think we spoke earlier as well yes 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 yesterday just yesterday just yesterday right usually i i i don't come forward i enjoy everyone's uh, rendition but it really compelled me to come forward uh, since yesterday thank you please please keep coming forward okay yeah, that is the <laughs> krishna turns the keys and then all our inhibitions go away so very nice you know because of thank you and this you came forward and we'd love to hear more from you thank you and all it's truly it's truly the uh, 
uh, one of the lines you say, right? You just have to find something to stick, uh, a better thing to stick to. Usually for someone like me who watches a lot of movies and web series, I think uh, th this is the best way to have something better to stick to me. Thank you. Yes, when we start giving ourselves better things, food for the soul, your soul, your inner self will tell you, ah, now I'm getting something, you know, which I never gotten before. So we just have to experience it and then it will just follow along. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad you're experiencing that and sharing it with us. So great to have you on this session and would love to hear more from you, Ratnaji. Beautiful rendition. Okay, thank you very much for that. All right, we're down to our last few hands. Let's. That was how it says to us. He just comes to our hearts, our minds, and he just forgets us, falls, forgets us, everything, and we do what he wants us to do. We do not see who is there, who is not there. I sing well, I sing bad. We just follow his footsteps. He says, follow his actions, and we are there. True. That's all. Obvious, isn't that so? Very That's so perfect the way he does to us. Very and today is Sudhakar's birthday. He said so. So let's wish him all. Oh, wonderful. So, Sudhakar Jai birthday. Very nice. Can we on, please? Sudhakar Ji. And we loved your rendition of Pyaru Lage Nand Lala Hame To Padu Pyaru Lage. So happy birthday once again, Sudhakar Ji. And we'd love to hear word from you. And happy, happy, happy birthday for you. It's all Janmashtami month. So you all are fortunate souls, right? To be born in August. And entire world will be celebrating your birthday this month. So thank you very much. All right, yeah. yes, Rahul. Rahul ji, Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Just wanted to add that Asha ji commented that Kal wo bhi ek bhajan prasthuti karengi to aapne sabhi log dil tham ke baithiye aur wait kariye aapne sabhi. Hum apne hriday ko tham ke aapke mukharvan se bhajan ko sunne ke liye utsuk rahenge. Dhanyavad Asha ji. Look forward to that tomorrow. Okay, I think or uh, Rahul, you want to sing something? It will be our honor and a privilege to hear Shamji uh, about Sham. So please go ahead. That's the way it is. Mujhe teri adane, o saavare, mujhe teri adane, o saavare, mujhe tera divana bana diya, mujhe tera divana bana diya, teri baake adane, o saavare, teri bali adane, o saavare, mujhe tera divana bana diya, mujhe tera divana bana diya. Radhe Radhe. Dhandewaad Shyamji. Very nice. Beautiful. See, Krishna can make us do things and express things in the way we would have never imagined. That is the beauty of it. And thank you so much for singing that out for us. All right. Thank you. Yes, please go ahead. Padma Ji, Radhe Radhe. Radhe Padma Ji. Radhe Radhe. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of cheating business today. I'm actually registered for tomorrow, but I'll just there is, few there is, I'll, a, just, I'll just a few lines. There is a lot of night at your end, okay? More night than we have. <laughs> I'm just uh, driving. I will hope you can. No worries, this, is, no this is just a description of from a motherly, motherly perspective. Like it's the beauty of Krishna is defined um, by comparing his beauty with many different gems. So that is the essence of the song and I just do lines. <clears throat> Rangumuve Pagadamu 
ಪಾತಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ ಗೋಮೇಧಿಗಾಮು ರತಿ ಕೇಳಿ ರೂಪಿಣಿಗೆ ರಂಗು ಮೂವೆ ಪಗಡಮು ಪಾತಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ ಗೋಮೇಧಿಗಾಮು ಶತವೈ ಶಂಕ ಚಕ್ರಾಲ ತನ್ನುಲ ವೈಡೂರ್ಯಾಮು ಶತಮೈ ಶಂಕ ಚಕ್ರಾಲ ಸಂದುಲ ವೈಡೂರ್ಯಾಮು ಗತಿಯೈ ಮಮ್ಮು ಗಾಚೆ ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷುಡು ಗತಿಯೈ ಮಮ್ಮು ಗಾಚೆ ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷುಡು ಮುತ್ತುಗಾರೆ ಯಶೋದ ಮುಂಗಿಟಿ ಮೂತ್ಯ ಮುವಿಡು ಬಿತ್ತರಾನಿ ಮಾನಿ ಮಾಲ ದೇವಗಿ ಸೂತುಡು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಸಿ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡ್ರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಐ ಕುಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಭಾವ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯುರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೆಟರ್ನಲ್ ಲವ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಮಚ್ ಪದ್ಮಾಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆರಿಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನಾವ್ ಸಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಓವರ್ ಬೈ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಟಿ ಫೆನಾಮಿನಲ್ ಸೊ ಮನೀಶ್ ಜೀ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋ ಹೆಡ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಆಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಲುಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯು ಇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಯಾ ರಿಯೋ ಕೋಯಕ್ ರಾಧೆ ರಾಧೆ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡ್ರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಐ ಐ ಲವ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವನ್ ಹಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಸೊ ಜಬ ತಕ ರೇನ ಪೇ ಹೇಮ ಕಪರದ ತಬ ತಕ ಮೇ ದಿತಾ ನ ದಿಖಾಯಿ ಜಿಸ್ ಕೇ ಮನ ಸೇ ಮೇ ನಹಿ ನಿಕಲಿ ಉಸನೆ ಮೇರಿ ಕೃಪಾ ನಹಿ ಪಾಯಿ ಉಸನೆ ಮೇರಿ ಕೃಪಾ ನಹಿ ಪಾಯಿ ಮುಜೆ ಸಮರ್ಪಣ ಕೆ ಭಾವ ಪ್ಯಾರೆ ಉಸೆ ಮಿಲು ಜೋ ಮನ ಸೇ ಪುಕಾರೆ ಹೇ ನಾಥ ನಾರಾಯಣ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರೆ ಮುರಾರಿ ಹೇ ನಾಥ ನಾರಾಯಣ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ರಾಧೆ ರಾಧೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಮನೀಶ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ರೀಕ್ಯಾಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರೆ ಮುರಾರಿ ದಟ್ ಯು ಸ್ಯಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ with so many participants came forward today they you did not let us miss miss our nightingale by lg today hopefully she is going to be back in action tomorrow and yes sunday you wanted to add something yeah, urvi ji also before that urvi please urvi yes yeah we, that's what i wanted to say youngest yeah. participant saying she was also saying now <laughs> so you have to sing okay. we'll put you on spot and we'll put you on spotlight as well um i'm just going to sing a little bit and it's uh, rajasthani bhajan of meera bai oh, yeah, please I understand it it's uh, it just a little bit i'll sing am i audible properly yes 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 you are audible yeah. go ahead meera thane meera thane rano ji samjha thalo kai lage gopal meera thalo prano ji samjha thalo kai lage gopal kai lage thalo kai lage kai lage tharu kai lage tharu kai lage gopa zehra ko pyalo prano ji bhejo divat me rahasi zehra ko pyalo prano ji bhejo Thank 
Shai Survi, looks like uh, you have really uh, contemplated on this bhajan and it was coming right from the soul part of it. So beautiful. In fact, one of my uh, favorite movies is Mirabai, which was so beautifully played by Hema Malini. If you have not seen that movie, do watch it. And that is a character very close to her heart as well. I was hearing one of her interviews, but very beautifully um, sung. And it was coming straight from the heart. You know, you're just getting into that. Beautiful. I think there is something in Rajasthan uh, which brings out that sentiments uh, that Meera had as well, right? Like mm-hmm. Malji, she's from Rajasthan and we have got Urvi and then Nituji. You know, they, something is there for sure. I have a belly. I have to Rajasthan, very close. Yeah, Two hours drive from Rajasthan. You are pretty close to that as well. Yes, Shyamji. Beautiful. I, beautiful. I mean, I, I don't know what sticks. Can I recite uh, one more? It's also a Rajasthani bhajan. Yes, yes, Suri. Go ahead. It will be our honor and privilege to hear you. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. All of us. So I'll describe it a little bit. It's it, it's Maragya Buharo. Maragya means you have to clean the parts. Uh, and Mirabai is saying, clean the parts. I've seen Krishanji. And uh, and then she's just getting happy that I feel like singing like a poem and all this. Okay. Let's sing a little bit. Maragya Buharo Mulada Bichavo Maragya Buharo Mulada Bichavo Maniki Sadaji Radar Sad. Boya Mora Ram, Maniki Sad Jira Dar Sad, Boya Mora Ram, Ali Boya Ali Boya, Baga Me Bethi Koya Ladi Boya, Baga Me Bethi Mane Bagar Lori Sukand. To Hai Mara Ram, Maniki Sadaji Radha Sad, Puya Mara Ram. Very nice, sir. We Maru Kisadaji Radha Sad, Puya. Very nice. You can do masters in Rajasthani. Your, your dialect and this is just spot on, immaculate for sure. Thank you so much. This is a love for Krishna. Earlier we had different names, cameras off. Now we have our old true names, camera on. And we're singing in front of everybody off. What else we want? That's it. Nothing else beyond this. Krishna brings out the best in everyone, right? So beautiful. I, I mean, all good things have to stop, right? So that we can start tomorrow. Uh, One more thing. Can we, Sandhya ji also wants to sing. Can we allow her? Can you say something? Sandhya ji also wants to sing few lines, if we can allow her. We'll take the last one then. Yeah, the is there. Yeah. We'll take the, this is the last one for the evening. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. I want to sing a small bhajan. Govinda Krishna Jai, Gopala Krishna Jai, Gopala Bala Bala Radha Krishna Jai. Govinda Krishna Ji, Gopala Krishna Ji, Gopala Bala Bala Radha Krishna Ji, Gopika Mala Hari Pyari Mali Mira Vardi Hari, Madana Mohana Murali Dhari Krishna Ji, Krishna Ji, Krishna Ji, Krishna Ji, Radha Krishna Ji. Venu Krishna Ji, Gopi Krishna Ji, Krishna 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 Ji. Thank you. Beautiful Sandhya Ji, you are a very good singer. I've heard you so many times and every time you delight us with your uh, melodious voice. Personally, I have never had such a diversified satsang. So many Krishna different bhajans. Um, Maybe we have set a Guinness Book of World Records tonight. I don't know, uh, unofficially at least. But it was beautiful. I, I'm sure you all would have enjoyed it as well. Do write it on our portal. Uh, maybe I'll put in a question, you know, what really struck chord with you. Uh, it's good to put down the feelings that you have. Typically during satsangs helps you uh, go back to that, you know, especially when you 
are not feeling so inspired to get back to that. So do put in your comments, thoughts there as well. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Any last words from anybody? Um, Rahul ji, Rahul ji says has named this group as T D O F K, talented devotees of Krishna. That's how our new day is from now on. Rahul ji, thank you so much. Talented devotees of Krishna. Yeah. We yeah. are for sure. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. Thank you again. Can't thank you all enough uh, for your enthusiastic participation and making it such a wonderful, enriching experience for all of us. I think we couldn't have had a better start for Janmashtami than what we are having right now. So tomorrow we have the last series in the series of uh, Janmashtami special sessions that we have, and I really look forward to another engaging, fascinating session. And and um, can't wait for that. And we we'll, we'll have a class. We can we can do it, boy. We do have a class tomorrow, and then we break. Okay. So we break. So yeah. my birthday goes. What happened? My birthday goes. We don't have class on birthday. This is why. We are going to celebrate your birthday as well in our own style tomorrow. Okay, in the session itself. But you'll get the birthday wishes. Okay, the like I said, the whole of Dallas That's... will be celebrating your birthday and dancing on your birthday here. Okay. Thank you so much, Tuna. Thank you so much, Radhe Radhe. She's around it. Great. I hope you enjoyed the satsang today. Bit of tattva gyan, more of devotion, which is. always good personal preference is that as well so thank you again very much again we can skip our prayers because the music is so nice i think we can keep on um, you know take the day okay, so thank you so much radhe radhe have a wonderful thank evening and a great rest of your day and i look forward to seeing you again tomorrow thank you radhe radhe thank you so much thank you so much radhe radhe